Hello, uh, my name is David Marchant. I'm a dentist and I uh, would like to make some videos that help inform people on dentistry, um, answer some of their questions if they have any, uh, but, but generally do I want to inform the, the general public um, and educate them on the importance of good dental care um, and good dental hygiene and good health in the, in the mouth overall. So. Anyways, I've got an x-ray in front of us that is uh, of the lower left jaw. And here you have a tooth that's kind of leaning forward. Um, you have a tooth that it's biting against on top. We don't, we don't have the full picture of it because we only got the, a part of the crown in, in this x-ray. And then in front of the tooth, we have an implant that's been placed. And there's a gap between these two teeth on the bottom, you can see here, which is can create a food trap and can cause cavities which if you look at this tooth you see that there's a big cavity here and there's a cavity back here um, a little bit of dental anatomy on this tooth you got this white part around the tooth here which is called the enamel below the enamel you have a darker area that's called dentin and then below the dentin you get this black line here that's called the pulp or where the blood vessels and nerves reside um, if that gets infected then uh, the tooth is infected and needs to either come out or get a, a root canal and with this particular patient you have a cavity here on the front that uh, is large enough that it got into the pulp or into the nerve and that has in been infected and so what happens is when a tooth gets infected bacteria come in here and then they start to colonize and spread so it comes down and it goes down the canal, the bacteria does, and then exits out the root and into the bone and starts a colony there. And if you see, there's kind of a black halo around the tip of this root. Well, that halo around the tip of this root is infection. And the bacteria create an environment that dissolves the bone. And then it shows up as a black halo because that's just dissolved bone. It's not as dense as bone that you see up around here and the surrounding areas. I also want to point out that you see this line right here and a line right here. Well, between these two lines, that's a nerve. And that comes up from the base of your skull, enters in through your jaw by your ear, goes down below, and exits down by your chin. Um, and so that's pretty close to this one. And look, that, that, that infection could be relatively close to that nerve and so sometimes in patients if they get a really big infection that flares up on them it can put pressure on this nerve and cause uh, the, their lip to get numb so in this case it's the lower left tooth if this was to flare up and put pressure on this nerve their lower left lip uh, the left half of their lower left lip would get numb and it wouldn't resolve until that infection was taken care of. So when you got an infection, infected tooth, you've got two options to fix it. Um, if it is savable, meaning there's enough tooth structure here to where when we remove the decay, there's enough solid tooth structure to build on, we can save it. And so what this would need is a root canal where we take this decay out, we we'll take this decay out, and we enter into this space where the pulp is, okay? And we take some files and we clean this canal we clean and shape it we with our files we scrape the sides of the walls we put rinses down in there that'll help kill the bacteria and we try to clean all the way down to the apex of the root here and here um, once it's cleaned then we can fill it full of wax we put a before we fill it full of wax we put a liquid sealer in here and then we fill it full of wax and that is supposed to seal off this root um, we seal it off up to here, to the pulp chamber, kind of to the orifice here. And then we put a filling in there and repair any cavities or broken fillings. And then we crown on top of it. And the reason why we crown on top of a tooth is because after it's had a root canal, we crown it. Because this tooth here is going to be hammering on this tooth. Well, can that tooth withstand biting forces after what we've done to it? And if you think about it, we're going to remove a lot of tooth structure here. We're going to drill a hole probably to this point so we can get access to the canal so you're gonna have just a shell of tooth by the time we're done doing a root canal and that tooth would not be able to withstand biting forces for very long when it starts taking you know chewing forces 
So what you need to do is we put a crown on top of it that will surround the whole tooth and uh, it'll distribute the forces. Crowns will distribute forces around the whole tooth and so it can withstand biting forces better. So this particular patient decided that he didn't want to save the tooth, so we pulled it. Um, but if he did want to, he would have to get a root canal and a crown. And then we do a filling on that tooth, which is called a core buildup. Um, and a core buildup is just basically saying, hey, we're going to do a filling and then we're going to crown on top of it. So anyways, I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and put some comments uh, below and I'd be happy to try to respond to those. And I also will be posting more videos in the future. So I hope that uh, this made sense and, and uh, will hopefully inspire you to take care of your teeth. So until next time.